Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and this is my birthday book haul. So, <laughs> it's been a while since my actual birthday. My birthday was on September the 4th. Um, not all these books were necessarily hauled on my birthday. A very small handful of these are books that I have gotten since my last book haul um, and I didn't want to make a whole separate video. So I'm incorporating them into my birthday book haul. First, I wanted to start off this book haul with an unboxing. So real bookish, I'm linking them down below. It was very kind and sent me The Greatest Show on Earth, their circus themed book box this month. It was their August month for this box. I didn't get it until recently because it got delivered to my parents' house and I moved to college. So when I went and visited my parents' house after the whole debacle with um, being quarantined on my birthday, I finally went home uh, the weekend after that. Um, so I finally got the box. <laughs> I've already opened it, but I'm going to show you everything that's inside. One thing that I will say that I got in this box that I'm not hauling because I don't have it anymore because I can't use it. It came with a box of those old animal cracker boxes like the old circus um animal crackers um in the red box i'm allergic to them so i gave them to somebody else so they could partake in them since i can't have gluten i couldn't eat them i just gave it to someone else to enjoy so i don't have them anymore but i just want to let you know that was a part of this box too so it came with a really pretty card and then everything on the back is on here with all of the artists and creators of everything in the box and then this is the box for september which is the pirate's life um, which I'm very excited for. First thing that we have is a art print that says a million dreams That's all it's gonna take a million dreams for the world we're gonna make and it's kind of blown out I'm sorry <laughs> you can kind of see it there it's there's stars and a couple right here and on the back is a letter from the real bookish team something in here that I found really awesome is this mask right here Ooh. <laughs> it's like one of those masquerade masks. Fun fact, I was obsessed with these in middle school because I went to the Ren Fair, the Renaissance Festival, so often as a kid that every time I went, I would buy a new mask because I was obsessed with them. I was obsessed with Phantom of the Opera. I was obsessed with anything Renaissance, big poofy dresses. I'm still obsessed with that, but I was very obsessed in middle school. And so I was obsessed with these masks and I'd wear one every single Halloween. There was one Halloween where I used it to be Robin Hood. I had a green and gold one. So I absolutely love this. And then we have a really pretty bracelet here. You can wrap it around like this. You could wear it as a necklace. It kind of has that stretchy material that I really, really, really like. I have very, very, very thin wrists, so it doesn't even <laughs> fully work for me, but it can be loose. I don't really mind, um, but it's very, very, very pretty. I really, really like it. And there's a beautiful little elephant charm on there. Um, I really like this bracelet. It's really soft. It doesn't bother me. I'm very particular with what jewelry I have. I'm a very tactile person and if something itches me or if something doesn't feel good on my skin, I will never ever ever wear it. Um, but I really 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 like this. Next we have a pin that says I'm a blind bat. So let me try and read this. The greatest thing you'll ever learn is just to love and to be loved in return. There we go. Um, but there is this really pretty pin. Hopefully you can see. <laughs> it's really pretty. I always put all my pins up on my bulletin board. I have a giant bulletin board over my bed, so I'm gonna be putting this and definitely that mask on my bulletin board. And then we have two coasters. We have um, the couple from The Greatest Showman. There's Zendaya and Zac Efron, very pretty. And then we have a quote on here that says, why don't we rewrite the stars? That's something that the couple says. Very pretty. I love coasters. Um, I don't have enough of them, so I'm very excited for these. Then we have something I'm really excited and happy that I have because I've been meaning to buy this for so long or something like this for so long because I realized I don't have any and that is a set of uh, playing cards. It comes in this plastic box, um, but they're really cool. So this is the back of them and then the front um, on the like Jack, King, Queen, um, in Joker, there are um, character prints, like um, here's the king one, the queen, sorry it's so blown out, here you go. The Joker is Zac Efron, and then the bearded lady is the ace. I don't know where the jack is, oh, here, 
the Jack is Zendaya. I really like these and I will definitely be using them. Um, I love playing with cards. And then the last thing in this box is the book, which is Where Dreams Descend by Janella Angelis. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing her name right, hopefully. But this cover is absolutely stunning. I love all of the glitter on here. I've heard great, amazing, wonderful things about this YA book. I'm very intrigued by this. I'm very intrigued by the cover. I love circusy things. I know um, Olivia Reads Latte Live really loves this book and my friend Danny also really does. So I'm very excited for this and I'm very excited to add it to my collection and hopefully get to it very soon. So thank you so, so much Real Bookish for sending me that box. I'm so incredibly happy about it. I'm gonna be using almost every single thing in that box. The Animal Crackers have already given away though. <laughs> Everyone else will enjoy the animal crackers. I just personally can't, but that's okay. <laughs> First, I'm just gonna hold up the books that I got in my eBay book haul. I got, I ordered a mystery romance eBay book box. Um, if you wanna know any of the summaries for these books, please go check out that video. I'm just gonna be holding them up, saying the author, and putting them down. I ordered a mystery box of 20 historical romances mystery, and I lucked out. I lucked out with this. I got some gems. So first we have Rebel Wind by Leanne Grayson, Midnight Sins by Evelyn Rogers, Pirate's Wild Paradise by Kate Douglas, The Lion's Shadow by Elizabeth Hunter, The Duchess of Windsor, The Secret Life by Charles Hyam, Hyam. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that, Evening Class by Maeve Binchy, Wanted Across Time by Eugenia Riley, I think it's pronounced Rehar, Rajar, I don't know, by Tara Joy. The Magic by Robin Lee Hatcher. And there is this really pretty step back right there. The Fraser's Clay by Anna Lee. The Last War Black by Karen Rainey. Until You by Judith McNaught. Passions of a Wicked Earl by Lorraine Heath. Emerald Enchantment by Patricia Grasso. Flame by Evelyn Rogers. Heaven's Gift by Janelle Dennison. Crayole Caress by Elizabeth Lee. Savage Embers by Cassie Edwards. And this is the step back for this one. I love her dress. The last two books a part of that haul are my two <laughs> favorite ones because I got two Johanna Lindsay's. We got Tender is the Storm by Johanna Lindsay. And then I also got A Warrior's a Woman by Johanna Lindsay. So those 20 books are out of the way. <laughs> That's a lot. Um, next, I'm going to be talking about the books that I have gotten not for my birthday, uh, that I got <laughs> before my birthday. This isn't a part of a birthday haul. So first my mom got me a cookbook because I've been really getting into cooking and baking during quarantine. And so she got me Eat What You Love by Danielle Walkers. She said that she sees this woman a lot on Instagram and this is all gluten-free foods and I am a gluten-free eater. They're all gluten-free, dairy-free, and paleo recipes. Um, I'm on a gluten-free diet because of my celiac disease. So I am very interested in a lot of the things in here. I haven't gotten around to cooking a lot of them yet, but I am very excited and happy that I have this cookbook. Last real bookish box that I received was the Little Women box that I absolutely adored and I forgot to put the book in a haul video. I have a reading vlog where I unbox it, but I haven't put it in a haul video and that is Joe and Laurie by Margaret Stoll and Melissa De La Cruz. Um, this is a little woman reimagining if Laurie and Joe got together, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm very excited for it. I think I just got the hold in from the library, so I'm very excited to read this one. I think Brie from In Love and Words has read this book and she really liked it, so I'm very excited for it. I forgot to talk about this book in my last haul and I'm so mad that I forgot, but I haven't bought this one recently. I bought it like over a month ago, but I forgot to put it in my last book haul. And that's actually Brie from In Love and Words, Brie Lauren, her book, which is A Soul Full of Stars. This is a book that she wrote. I don't know if she wants me to like talk about it, but I'm really excited. And if you want to read a book by her, go read a book by her. But like, I think I want to support my friend. So that's why I bought it and I really want to read it. But I love her a lot. So I thought I'd buy her book and it sounds very interesting. So I'm definitely going to be reading it. It says, this is a story of what happens when a sparking nights and stars collapse, when worlds in our heartbeats and poetry is a promise. This is Sonic Cole's story and it's just the beginning. I'm very excited for this. I love Brie oh so very much. So I definitely wanted to support her and buy her book. <laughs> so a video will be coming very, very soon 
where I only read a certain Francie Rivers book that is very popular. That video is already up or will be up very soon. And so I knew I was gonna love that book. I hadn't read it yet when I bought this book, but I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to buy it. Um, and that is The Masterpiece by Francine Rivers. This book is another chunky monkey book. Now reading that Francine Rivers book, I am even more excited for this. I believe this is a romance between a famous artist, maybe, possibly, a Los Angeles artist Roman Velasco, and he falls in love with Grace Moore, his reluctant newly hired personal assistant. And Roman has some demons in his past that he's trying to go through, and Grace seems like she's trying to help him with those demons. I believe this is a Christian fiction. We will see. I'm very excited for this. Be sure to check out my reading vlog for that book whenever it comes out. Not this one. The other one. <laughs> that same day that I bought that book, I bought Stay Gold by Tolby McSmith. This is an LGBTQIA plus representation YA book. I believe our main character man here, his name is Pony, is uh, transgender and he goes to a new school and really wants to fly under the radar and not want to be noticed but then he falls for Georgia who is a cheerleader. He's like trying to figure out how he can like not be in the spotlight of school but also really like this cheerleader. So I've heard really great things about this book. I'm very excited for it. It's an absolute stunning cover. I can't wait to read it. Next we're going to be getting into the birthday books people have gotten me. My mom got me a book. My mom always does this thing where she buys me a new Barnes & Noble Classics Edition book for birthday, Christmas. She buys me a new one to add to the collection. She loves the collection. I love the collection, so she just wanted to add to it. This time, she bought me the Barnes & Noble Collector's Edition of War and & Peace by Leo Tolstoy. This one is gorgeous. Gold pages, really pretty back pretty spine. I love all these spines. I love all these books. My whole collection is not with me. Most of it is back home. She really likes it in my room, but I have maybe four with me that I really like. This one is really pretty. I don't know if I've necessarily will ever read this book, but it's great for my, co oh, <laughs> but it's great for my collection. So thank you so much, mom, for getting me this book. Next, we're going to get to the books my lovely friends here on booktube got me. I'm going to be linking all of them down below. First, my lovely friend Brie from In Love and Words. She got me an e book. She got me Sweet Filthy Boy by Christina Lauren, an ebook, which I am very excited for. I don't know anything about it, so I can't read the summary, can't tell you what it's about, but she got me this book on ebook, which I'm very, very, very grateful for. But she also made me some things um, that she sent my way, which I'm so excited about, and I love all of it. She's really big into sewing, sticker making, and I love that, and so she made me a book sleeve which is very, very, very cute. I love it. And then she also made me a headband, which matches the inside of my book sleeve, which is amazing. It's so pretty. Okay, so this is the headband. I wear it all the time. Um, it's white with little gray polka dots, and then this sparkly thing is the back of it. I love this headband. If y'all didn't know, I get really bad chronic migraines because of my chronic illness. And so even just putting my hair up like this, I'm gonna have to take it down very soon because it's gonna really hurt my brain. So putting my hair up or keeping it up like this um, or putting it in a headband or anything really tight on my head isn't necessarily good for me. I'm kind of down for the count for the rest of the day if I do. I love how she added this part to the back of it because it's so far it's one of the only headbands that I'm not giving me a headache since I've worn it. So I love this headband. I wear it all the time. I'm even wearing it in my eBay mystery book haul. Um, I love this headband. So thank you so much, Brie. I may have to like talk to you <laughs> to buy some more of these from you because I don't get a headache from them. And I love that. And then she was also really kind enough to make me a sticker sheet, which I've already used some stickers, obviously. These are the mountains from Vol of Volaris um, from Akamath Akatar. I love this book series. I have some I have some on my computer, I have some on my phone, I have some on my iPad. I love Brie stickers. Please go check out her Etsy shop, I love it a lot. So again, thank you so much Brie for all your wonderful gifts, I love you so much. Next, I was sent When a Scott Ties the Knot by Tessa Dare from my lovely friend Naima over at Naima Reads. I love her so much, I'm so grateful I became her friend this year. Um, this is the third book in the Tessa Dare Castles Ever After series. I've already read all these books. I just don't own any of them physically because I listened to them through my library. But this one has a heroine who has social anxiety. It's like escape society. She like pretends she has a husband and is writing to him um, until one day years later, 
a man with the same name pops up on her doorstep expecting to be get married to her. Um, it's really funny, really sweet. I really like this. Thank you so much, Naima, for this book. Next, I got Heart on Fire by Amanda Boucher by my lovely friend Madison Mary over on Princess of Paperback. I was so happy when I got this book in the mail because when I got this book, I just finished book two in this trilogy. I'm currently reading this book. I am right here. I'm using her note as a bookmark. <laughs> I'm right here. I have four hours left in the audiobook. I adore this series. Please read this series if you haven't yet. They're all on Audible Escape, this romance fantasy trilogy. They're all on Audible Escape and Audible Escape is ending in just about a month. Please, please pick this series up. I absolutely adore it. It has a kick-ass funny main character woman, has a brooding man in it, and has like it weaves in um, Greek mythology in there too. It's so stinking good. So again, thank you Madison for this book. I'm so happy. <laughs> then my lovely friend Kayla from On the Fritz got me Hello Stranger by Lisa Kleypas. This is the fourth book in the Ravenels series. I love the Ravenels. I read books one through three last month and so I'm dying to get to this book. I didn't want to listen to the audiobook until I got the physical copy because I want to mark it up with my favorite parts. This book came just in time. So thank you so much, Kayla, for this book. I'm very excited to continue on with the series that I'm in love with. My lovely friend Ashley from Ash Heart Books sent me a giant of a book from Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armantrout. Everyone has been dying for me to read this book. I've been dying to read this book. It's a fantasy romance book by Jennifer L. Armantrout. I love Jennifer L. Armantrout. Literally everything she writes, I love, except for one book. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> Everyone raves about this book, raves about this series. It is huge. <laughs> I can't wait to dive in. Ashley loves it. I hopefully will love it too. So thank you so much, Ashley, for this book. I'm very excited. The last book a lovely friend sent my way is We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal. I know I'm butchering that. I'm so incredibly sorry. Um, this is from my lovely friend Jen from Jen's Bookshelf. Along with Ashley, we are part of the Lovely Ladies Book Club that we host every single month. I've honestly heard great things about this book. Um, specifically, we talked about this book in my reading class that I had last semester, which is multicultural literature. And this one, I think my professor talked on a little bit and I was very intrigued by it. So I put it in my wish list, and I haven't really thought about it since then, but by Jen buying this book for me, it definitely goes up on my TBR. I'm very excited for it. I love this cover. So thank you so much, Jen, for buying this book for me. I wanted to pop on here for a second. It's been a couple weeks since I've made that video, but I have since received another birthday present from my lovely friend, Melissa from She's an Open Book. Again, I'm linking her down below, but she very kindly sent me Welcome to the Dark Side by Gianna Darling for my birthday. So thank you so, so, so much, Melissa. This is one of my favorite age gap romances and I am so happy that I have a physical copy. I love Zeus. He's one of my favorite heroes. I'm obsessed with him. So I'm very excited to add this to my collection. So again, thank you so, so much, Melissa, for this wonderful birthday present. This is the second book in the Fall of Men series. I've only read this one in the series, but I can't wait to read the rest of the books. Okay, all the rest of the books <laughs> I bought myself <laughs> for my birthday. <laughs> I really wanted these books. <laughs> um, so I bought them for myself. I was having a really crappy time because again, I was quarantined for my birthday. So I went and bought some books for myself. So the first batch are books that I bought myself off of thrift books. First, we have Eidolon by Grace Draven. This is the second book in the Wraith Kings series. The next book to Radiance, which is right here. I never had a physical copy, so I have one now. I'm very excited. This is a fantasy romance series that I am in love with, so I definitely had to get a physical copy for my birthday. <laughs> Next, I got my favorite book that I read in August. We have The Madness of Lordy and Mackenzie by Jennifer Ashley. I love this book. This is a historic romance book and we have autism rep in here. Loved this book so much. <laughs> I loved it. I had to buy a copy for myself or my collection. So I'm very excited that I bought this book. And I can't wait to continue on with the series, but I think there's a lot of books in this series and they're all in Audible Escape. <laughs> So I gotta get to listening. And then I <laughs> I jumped into the hole that is the Immortals After Dark series in September. <laughs> For my birthday, September 4th, all I did all day long was start and finish A Hunger Like No Other. That's all I did that day. And uh, so I was obsessed. I am now all the way on book eight, I wanna say. I'm on book eight. So I'm very invested in this series. So I bought the next two books because I didn't own any other books physically. That is the second book, which is No Rest for the Wicked. 
and then we have Wicked Deeds on a Winter's Night. These are all paranormal romance books that I love. I love them. I get why other people love them now. I'm on the hype train for this series. <laughs> so the rest of the books I again bought myself but when I went home the weekend after quarantine I went to two different half price books and treated myself and bought all the books that I wanted. <laughs> So I found all these gems at Half Price Books. We just talked about the Immortals After Dark series, so I found two more. I found book four, which is Dark Desires After Dusk. I believe this is book four. I already read this one, really liked it. Um, and I don't know what number this is, but it's Demon from the Dark. And I haven't read this one yet, um, but the font is really shiny and iridescent and I really like it. But yeah, I got both of these books <laughs> for my Oop. I got both of these books for my Immortals After Dark collection. Then I found a contemporary romance, which is Slow Dancing at Sunrise by Joe McNally. I have the second book in this contemporary series. I haven't read it yet. It's a Christmas romance, but I found this one. And it's the first one in the series, so I bought it. And um, I think I'm gonna read them fairly soon. These books have great ratings on Goodreads. I'm very excited for it. I don't know what it's about, but the second book looked really interesting to me, so I wanted to get the first one. Even though it's not Christmas related, it still looks very cute and I'm very excited. Then I found an L. Kennedy book, which is Claimed. Now, I think this is a dystopian or post-apocalyptic book. I know that Riley Marie really likes this series, so when I saw it, I snatched it. I've heard some great things about L. Kennedy. I haven't read any of her books, but hopefully this is going to be a good book to help me get more into her books. <laughs> then I found The Last Viking by Sandra Hill. I mainly bought this because of the cover. Um, because look at that cover. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> I think Jan from the Book Refuge said that she really, really, really liked this book. Um, it has something to do with Vikings. I haven't read a Viking romance before, but I really want to. So I definitely add this to my cart. How to Love a Duke in 10 Days by Kerrigan Byrne was another book that I bought. I've read one Kerrigan Byrne and I really liked it. I think it was, it was The Highwaymen, it's literally right there. Um, so I found this book, had to steal it. This is a first one in a new series by her. So I'm very excited that I found this one. Next I found two beautiful historical romances by Kat Martin. I own one Kat Martin book, I haven't read it yet. So this one is Night's Secrets by Kat Martin. Here's the pretty blue cover, but then when you open it, it, <gasps> look at this step back. Look at this step back. She's washing him. <laughs> I love this so much. Look at that. Two page, beautiful step back. I'm in love. And then I also found this beautiful Cat Martin. I love the mask. As we learned at the beginning of this video, I love masquerade masks <laughs> so this one definitely caught my eye as well as with the pink and gold and then when you open it up it there's this beautiful one look at this beautiful step back i am in love i feel like cat martin always has beautiful step backs okay we're almost done i have five books left uh the next two are two from lisa klepas that i found which is again the magic and love love come to me there you go these two Lisa Kleypas. Um, I've heard great things about Lisa Kleypas. I've only read The Raven Elves, so I'm very excited to have these two in my collection as well. And then the last three are all Johanna Lindsay books that I found um, that I'm very excited about. The first book is Joining by Johanna Lindsay. Now I'm kind of upset about this because there were two copies of this book in the store, but I didn't know that there was a Sharpie Thing on here. How do you get Sharpie off of a book? Can you not get Sharpie off of a book? Please let me know. Um, but it just says, it's a circle with an L on it and the, the half price books sticker was covering it. So I didn't know. So I could have got the other book without the Sharpie on it. <laughs> anyway, um, this is the step back when you open it. And I believe this is the second book in a series. And I have the first one, I think. I think I have the first one. And then I found Savage Thunder by Johanna Lindsay. This one is really controversial here on booktube. Um, I love Lily C. Reads and I think she made a whole rant video about this book. I don't think it's public anymore. I remember watching that video and being like, what the heck? Um, because I believe they do it on a horse, <laughs> which is kind of bizarre, <laughs> obviously. And then the last Johanna Lindsay that I found is probably my favorite favorite cover maybe and that is defy not the heart this one is beautiful i love the purple on it and just the couple <gasps> i love it i believe this is the first book 
and then this one is the second one in the series, I think. But yeah, my Johanna Lindsay collection is getting big and I haven't even read one of her books yet. <laughs> Whew, there you have it. That is my very large birthday book haul. <laughs> Please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to. And again, if you sent me a book for my birthday, thank you oh so very much. I love every single one of you so much. Thank you for making this birthday amazing even with the unfortunate circumstances that happened. <laughs> Anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye!